Uh, Mr. Dev Burman, uh, welcome to Northeast Live. Uh, well, uh, Jyoti Raditya Sindhya finally quitting the Congress. So, is India's oldest party not learning at all from its mistakes? Well, uh, first of all, it is no longer a grand old party. You have to remove the name grand. It has become a really old party. In your in your channel itself, uh, recently also said that when the moment I had left the Congress party. Jyotir Aditya is my first cousin. I had also spoken to him. And I, even at that time, we had tried our best to remain in the Congress party. But the leadership of the Congress party has clearly decided to go with the old guard rather than the new. So after Rahul Gandhi left his post as the PC, as the AICC president, the young guard suddenly was left often and directionless. And the old guard took over. And uh, the culmination of that is that uh, today you have uh, someone like uh, Jyoti who uh, uh, has worked uh, passionately for the Congress party, leaving uh, the organization. Uh, Sachin is extremely unhappy. Milan is unhappy. I know a lot of young leaders who are unhappy. I have left. So I, uh, I don't know uh, what is happening. Right. I was with uh, Jyoti till very late last night. You know, it, he had asked for an appointment with Rahul Gandhi five months ago. He waited for five months, but there was no news forthcoming. How long do you continue the way it is? Radhya, uh, what Sindhya has faced, uh, you faced a similar situation in the party as the president of Tripura Congress. So what do you mm -hmm. think is ailing the Congress? Is it the insecurity of Rahul Gandhi to give contemporary leaders a chance? I don't think it is Rahul Gandhi himself. I think uh, the insecurity of the old guard in allowing young leaders to come up. Uh, you may be well aware that when Rahul Gandhi was the president, uh, you know, I don't know how all of a sudden uh, we are saying that uh, Kamal Nath is relevant and so on and so forth. It was Kamal Nath who, just to make his son win in Madhya Pradesh, in short that he only campaigned in that area and the remaining seats sold aside. Same thing happened with Ashok Khelo. So the fact is that the old guard has always had his own agenda. And uh, Rahul Gandhi was unable to dismantle it. In his resignation letter, he wrote a very long letter saying how helpless he felt at time. He mentioned about Chitambaram. So it is very, uh, or he indicated about it. It's, a very, it's very clear that the Congress okay. Party, if it does not reinvent itself, whether it is in Delhi, whether it is in the Northeast, it will stagnate. And uh, the culmination is Jyoti is left for BJP. I have decided to remain neutral. I don't think that BJP and Congress are both in the interest of uh, my state of Tripura. But uh, it is, it's a very sad state of affair because India without a good opposition will uh, suffer. The country suffers when we have capable, able young leaders leaving the party because there is no space given to them. All right, so what do you think? So is this the biggest blow to the Congress in recent times, uh, uh, losing somebody like uh, Jyotir Aditya Sindhya? No, I think the biggest blow is about to come and okay. uh, that will happen very soon. Uh, I know what is happening in the Congress party and uh, I'm, uh, it's it's very sad. Let me just say, I know Jyotir Aditya. But yet, so yes. what are you trying to indicate? The big I'm blow is yet to, to come. No, I know you are looking for your breaking news but the big blow will come and will happen collectively. And let me tell you very clearly that the big blow will happen when the Congress party realizes that the average age of the Congress's highest decision-making uh, body, the Congress Working Committee, is 77 years old. Now, if the Congress party thinks that Kamal Nath is the future of Madhya Pradesh or Digvijay Singh, or Ashok and not Jyotir Aditya, or if Ashok Helot is the future of Rajasthan and not Sachin, or in, in the Northeast they think that Pradyot De Barman is irrelevant, but Luzinio Filario is the only way ahead. Then the Congress party itself has uh, started taking its own grave. And more and more young leaders are going to leave the party if they see that there is no more scope given to them.